Yo, what's up sa inyo lahat mga kabalita, WB muli At yun tayo muli dito sa ating video reaction na sa ating news reaction Na kung saan nandito tayo sa Pinas News Insider At ito na mga kabalita, kakapasok lang, grabe Si Pres Marcos lang nagawa nito, Dilawan at Oligarko Iyak, FPRRD, Sumaludo At yun, play na natin kung nalalaman nito Ito ang balita ngayon Viral ngayon sa mundo ng social media Ang Deo Manoy Balitang Isang magandang balita, Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, patuloy ang pamamayagpag. Isang proyekto na naman, ang kanyang isa sa katuparan. Mm -hmm. Problema sa enerhiya, unti-unti na ang masusolusyonan. Presyo mm -hmm. ng kuryente, bababa na. Mm -hmm. Pero bago ang lahat, kung bago ka pa lamang sa aming channel, please huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para mas maging updated ka pa lalo sa lahat pa ng bagong video na i-upload namin. At eto na nga mga kababayan, Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, patuloy ang pagpapaunlad ng ating bansa. Kasabay nito ay ang pagpapaunlad ng ating enerhiya. Kaya naman ang proyektong 24.9 MW Lake Mainit Hydro Power Plant sa Agusan del Norte ay sisimulan na. Ang proyektong ito ay nag-aalok ng ilang mga binipisyo kabilang na ang pagbuo ng mga socio-economic na sa pagkakataon hindi lamang ang taga-Agusan del Norte kundi pati na sa nalalabing bahagi ng Mindanao ang makikinabang nito dahil paiilawin ng Lake Mainit Hydro Power Plant ang 45,000 na tahanan at paaanda rin ang pagunlad ng agrikultura at negosyo sa Mindanao. At idagdag pa natin ang binipisyo nito sa kalikasan at kalusugan ng mga mamamayan. Dahil ang proyektong ito ay inaasahang makakatulong na mabawasan ang carbon footprint at mapabuti ang kalidad ng hangin. Dahil ang hydroelectric power ay gumagawa ng napakababa o zero carbon emission sa panahon ng pagbuo ng kuryente. Kaya ligtas ang ating inang kalikasan. Layunin din ang proyektong ito na makapagbigay ng malinis at abot kayang enerhiya sa mga lokal na komunidad bawat taon. Unti-unti na nga nating nakikita ang mga pinaghihirapan ng ating Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Dahil ang 24.9 MW Lake Mainit Hydraulic Power Plan ay pinagsamang partnership sa pagitan ng Markham Resources Corporation ng Pilipinas at Japanese firm na J-Power na nagpapakita ng tiwala at suporta ng ating dalawang bansa sa isa't isa. Samantala, hindi naman mapigilan ng marami sa ating mga kababayan na magbigay ng kanilang hinaing at komento sa mundo ng social media. At ayon pa sa kanila, sana nga tuluyan ng makaalpas ang sambayan ng Pilipino sa kasakiman ng mga oligarko. Halos lahat na lang mahal kuryente tubig na dapat sanay maintenance lang ang babayaran ng publiko. Isama mo na ang pagtaas ng mga bilihin. Mabuhay ang ating Pangulo. Napakasipag. Tinutupad na po niya ang ating pangarap. Salamat po. Maghintay lang po at patuloy tayong sumuporta sa ating Pangulo. Unti-unti nang nasusolusyonan ang matagal nating problem sa energy. Isa sa pinaka-prioriting program at project ng Marcos Administration. Mabuhay ka PBBM. Gabayan ka na wa ng Panginoon. End quote. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. President, uh, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to present to you our AVP for this project. Thank you. by the provinces of Agusan del Norte and Surigao del Norte is the fourth largest fresh water lake in the Philippines. It is surrounded by the municipalities of Alegria, Habonga, Kicharao, and Mainit in the Caraga region. As of 2020, the region has a total population of over 2.8 million people with a growth rate of 1.63%. Lake Mainit is not only the deepest lake in the Philippines with a maximum depth of 219 meters, it is also considered to be one of the country's cleanest lakes. The lake's watershed area is over 87,000 hectares with a water surface area of 149.865 square kilometers. The lake has a water volume of 18.36 cubic kilometers with 28 river tributaries which drain out to the 20-kilometer River Kalinawa. 
recognizing the need to provide clean, reliable, and sustainable energy to traditionally underserved communities. The Agusan Power Corporation, a strategic partnership between the Japanese global energy company, J Power, and Philippine developer Marcom Resources Corporation, have launched the Lake Mainit Hydroelectric Power Plant Project. The project aims to deliver a resilient, renewable energy system that supports the Philippines' robust economic and social development. With a total capacity of 24.9 megawatts, the Lake Mainit hydropower plant is set to transform the energy landscape within the region, providing approximately 97,565 megawatt hours of clean, affordable energy to local communities each year. The project will service the steadily increasing residential and commercial energy requirements in the area. At the heart of the project is the state-of-the-art infrastructure that has been meticulously designed and painstakingly constructed. The impoundment, situated across the lake, forms a reservoir which stores water for power generation. The stored water is then directed through a series of turbines, which convert the kinetic energy into mechanical energy. The project utilizes three Francis turbines supplied by one of the foremost electrical and mechanical suppliers for hydropower in the world. These are employed to maximize the energy conversion efficiency of the plant. The turbines spin with remarkable precision, generating electricity which is then transmitted to the power grid. The electricity generated is transmitted throughout a network of high-voltage power lines which connect the Lake Mainit hydropower plant to various distribution points in the Caraga region. In three, two, one. Thank you, Mr. President, and congratulations to everyone. A big round of applause. At this point, may we call on the Special Assistant to the President, Secretary Antonio Ernesto Leglebeo Jr. to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am delighted to join you today for the inauguration of this 24.9 megawatt Lake Mainit hydropower plant here in the municipality of Habonga, Agusan del Norte. As our power demand continues to increase, initiatives and projects such as this are most welcome as they help the country increase the energy supply, improve our energy mix by prioritizing the use of renewables. The development of this hydropower site is a defining step towards our goal of securing much needed power for the people of Agusan del Norte and its neighboring areas by taking advantage of its water sources. The Lake Mainit Hydroelectric Run of River Power Project offers several benefits and is expected to sustainably serve around 45,000 households. Aside from producing power, it is also expected to generate socio-economic opportunities for the people of Agusan del Norte and for the rest of Mindanao. Moreover, the project is expected to help reduce carbon footprint and improve air quality as hydroelectric power produces very low or zero carbon emissions during electricity generation. This project was made possible because of the shared commitment we have with our reliable partners in the private sector, both from the Philippines and from Japan. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the Markham Resources Corporation and the J-Power Group. This partnership that you have forged for the development and operation of this hydroelectric power project in Agusan del Norte is a clear manifestation of the trust and support that our two nations hold for each other. I look forward certainly to greater cooperation, stronger bilateral relations between Philippines and Japan, especially in the field of renewable energy. I continue to be hopeful that we will come up with more projects that will make use of renewable resources and contribute to our ongoing efforts in solving our energy problems. I urge the local government of Agusan del Norte to provide all the necessary assistance to ensure the efficiency, safety, and productivity of this very important hydropower plant. Let this inauguration that we are commemorating today serve as an encouragement to potential investors to invest in the country, especially in the power generation and the renewable energy sector. 
I call once again on our private sector partners to join us as we realize our goal of advancing af affordable, reliable, and clean energy for the benefit of our people. We assure you that this government will continue to improve bureaucratic processes in the energy sector to make it easier for investors to come in. This lies at the very core of the eight-point socio-economic agenda, as well as our commitment to mitigate the impact of climate change and to combat other environmental threats. As perfectly captured by where the name Agusan is derived from the word Agus, or water flow, May the Lake Mainit hydropower plant flow with bountiful blessings, stream good tidings, and bring positivity to the people of Agusan del Norte and to everyone who will gain from the services it provides. Once again, my heartfelt appreciation to everyone involved in the completion of this project. With partners like you, I am confident that we will achieve an energy secure future and build a more prosperous Philippines for the present and for coming generations. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay ang Agusan del Norte. Mabuhay ang ating inauguration ng hydropower plant. At maraming salamat po. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. The president is still having a tour of the hydroelectric plant. We would like to request everyone to please remain in your seats. Thank you.
At yun na nga mga kababayan, ano na ang masasabi mo? Kung mayroon kayong hinaingat komento patungkol sa balitang ito, please comment down below. Pag-uusapan natin yan sa comment section. At yan nga mga kabalita natin yung mga ilang patungkol na balita dyan dito sa ating Pangulong Marcos nga. Na kung saan muli na namang pinasinayaan yung bagong proyekto na ginawa nga ng ating Pangulong Marcos na kung saan ito'y patungkol sa elektrisidad no, upang mapababa at mapamura yung uh, oriente natin sa ating bansa nga. At ito nga mga kabalita natin yung uh, Lake Mainit Hydroelectric Power Plant nga na kung saan dyan sa Agusan del Norte no mga kabalita natin eh Talagang ito dito binubuo na kung saan nga itong uh, napakaganda nga uh, hydroelectric na to mga kabalita natin eh malaki ang matitipid no ng ating mga kababayan diyan at isa pa eh iligtas nga para rin sa ating kalikasan. At isa lamang to sa mga proyekto nga ng ating pangulo na talagang eh ngayon eh talagang eh handang ihandog sa ating bansa no na ginagawa ng ating pangulo. Ito yung mga hindi na Ibabalita nga ng mga media yung magandang nagagawa ng ating Pangulo na ito nga at muli na ng mga gumawa ng panibagong proyekto at tuloy-tuloy at sunod-sunod yung mga proyektong ginagawa ng ating Pangulo. At dito nga mga kabalita natin ipinakita at pinasilip nga yung pasilidad nga nito nga hydroelectric power plant nga mga kabalita natin na talagang eh matipid at ligtas syempre sa mga tao at sa kalikasan nga mga kabalita natin. At ito yung... Uh, Tande mo, ito ya talagang eh, pinagtulungan ng Japan at Pilipinas. Alam naman natin pag sinabing Japan mga kabalita natin eh, solid yung pagkakagawa niyan dahil yan yung magagaling sa teknolohiya no, mga kabalita natin. At napakagandang hakbang na naman, no, napakagandang nga proyekto na naman sa ating Pangulo na makakatulong sa ating mga kababayan, no, makakatulong dito sa ating bansa. At yun mga kabalita natin, kayo na lang bahalang magkomento sa iba ba nang nais niyong ikomento patungkol dyan. At yun muli, syempre nagpapasalamat tayo sa patuloy niyong pagsubaybay at patuloy niyong pagsuporta at pagsusubscribe sa ating channel. At syempre nagpapasalamat tayo sa Pinas News Insider. Subscribe kayo dyan mga kabalita. At yun mga kabalita, ito muli ang WB hanggang sa muli natin pagkikita, mga kabalita!